Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Rashi Goyal and in this video we are going to solve 16 power sin square x plus 16 power cos square x is equals to 10 and we have to solve it for x where our x is greater than 0 but less than 9. So let's start with today's video solution. So we know the identity of trigonometry that is sin square x plus cos square x is equals to 1. So I can write y is equals to sin square x. So it becomes y plus cos square x is equals to 1. So cos square x is equals to 1 minus y. So I can write this question as 16 power y plus 16 power 1 minus y is equals to 10. Now 16 power y plus 16 power 16 power y is equals to 10. Now if I'll take LCM, so 16 power y square plus 16 is equals to 10 times 16 power y. So it becomes, if I'll take substitution, let 16 power y as z. So it becomes z square plus 16 is equals to 10z. So z square minus 10z plus 16 is equals to 0. Now it looks like a quadratic equation. So we can write this negative 10z as negative 8z negative 2z plus 16 is equals to 0. Now from first two terms, if I'll take z as common, so z minus 8. And if I'll take negative 2 as common, so z minus 8 is equals to 0. If z minus 8 as common, so z minus 2. It's equals to 0. So first is z minus 8, 0. So this gives us the value of z as 8. And the second case, z minus 2 as 0. So z is equals to 2. Now let's recall, z is 16 power y. So z is equals to 8. So 16 power y is equals to 8. 16 we can write it as 2 power 4. Power y is equals to and 8 as 2 power 3. So 2 power 4 by is equals to 3, 2 power 3. Now if we compare both sides, 4 by is equals to 3. Now I'm going to divide both sides by 4. So y is equals to 3 by 4. When z is equals to 2, so 16 power y is equals to 2. So 2 power 4 power y is equals to 2 power 1. So 2 power 4 y is equals to 2 power 1. So 4 y is equals to 1. Y is equals to 1 by 4. Now let's recall y is equals to sine square x. So we have two values of y. Y is equals to 3 by 4. And y is equals to 1 by 4. So y is sine square x. So sine square x is equals to 3 by 4. Now I am doing square root both sides. So sine x is equals to root 3 by 2. So sine x is equals to root 3 by 2 in sine is sine 60. So x is 60. Now comes to this. y is sine square x is equals to 1 by 4. Again, I'm doing squaring both sides. So sine x is equals to 1 by 2. Sine x is equals to 1 by 2 is sine 30. So x is 30. So these are the two values of x. So let's check. So 16 sine is square 60 plus 16 cos square 60 is equals to 10. So 16 sine square 60 is root 3 by 2 whole square plus 16 cos square 60 is 1 by 2 whole square is equals to 10. Now 16 
root three square is three and two square is four plus sixteen power one by four is equals to ten. So it becomes four root of sixteen power three. Plus fourth root of sixteen is equals to ten. Fourth root of sixteen is two power three. And this is two. Then two power three is eight plus two that is ten. So ten is equals to ten. So it is verified. Now check when x is equals to thirty. So sixteen sine square thirty plus sixteen cos square thirty is equals to ten. So sixteen sine square thirty is one by two whole square plus cos square thirty is root three by two whole square is equals to ten. So sixteen power one by four plus sixteen power three by four is equals to ten. So fourth root of sixteen plus fourth root of sixteen power three. Fourth root of sixteen is two, and this is two power three. So two plus eight is equals to ten. Ten is equals to ten. So both the cases are verified, and it is also verified our condition that is our x is greater than 0 and less than 9. I hope it's clear and you find it useful. So please give us a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel. Stay tuned.